My guest tonight has sold more than two million albums, won nine arias, and has lived out my fantasy of jumping into the arms of David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Please welcome Missy Higgins! <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Now, first things first, you, your new album has just come out. It's your fifth album. Mm. It's called Solastalgia. Mm -hmm. And it sounds a little bit different to some of your previous albums. Let's just have a little listen. Hey, what are you thinking? Bleeding against the kitchen sink Cos I see everything now Sitting on this food on couch That is... Um, that is the song Food on Couch. It's a romantic yeah. song about how you met your husband. Mm -hmm. uh, having lived in a few share houses with Food on Couches, I've They're never felt that romantic about them. No. <laughs> I know my friend, because it's my friend's futon couch, and um, he thinks now that it's it's world famous, and he's going to auction it off on eBay. And I'm like, no one wants to buy that couch, dude. It's disgusting. Yeah, I, I think it's probably <laughs> illegal to on sell a futon couch. <laughs> yeah, I know. There are reasons why there's blankets and sheets draped over. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's because there's a stain there. <laughs> there really that is. That stain has nothing to do with how my husband and I met. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> good. Thank you. I, I definitely wasn't angling for that, but. <laughs> You've just made the ad. Um, <laughs> now, I, there's another song on the, uh, on the album that I really love. It's called Cemetery. And it reminds me of this crazy rumour I heard. Do you have a habit of breaking into cemeteries? <laughs> yeah, well, I used to, cos I used to tour America a lot on tour buses. And for some reason, I became really obsessed with, after a show, finding the cemetery in that little town <laughs> and jumping the fence and going walking by myself. So the tour was going well? Yeah. <laughs> Very strange way to decompress after so, a show. So what, what is it about a cemetery that I was comforting? Know. I think, I mean, there's not a lot to do in those mid-American towns. And I think, um, I just remember one particular night I was, the, the show was opposite a cemetery and I was like, mm, I'll go and have a look. So I jumped the fence and it was the most peaceful thing I ever did. Yeah, they're heaps peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're really quiet. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and so yeah. you just did a tour with Ed Sheeran, which was the highest selling tour, like, of all time in Australia. Yeah. While pregnant. Yeah. How was that? That was amazing, actually. I've never played in front of that many people in my life. And I got to... That, that footage there is of me singing um, a duet with him. Um, on the final show, and it was crazy. The first night I actually lost my voice because I thought that I had to <laughs> reach the last person in, in the stadium, so I was singing so loudly. I somehow forgot that I was amplified and the, the, <laughs> really the speakers. So I was like, OK, I've got to get used to this whole stadium thing. And also, like, what I call free-ranging, taking the microphone off the stand and, like, doing this kind of thing, which is, does not come naturally to me Yeah, that was, that was very straight. That was very hip-hop. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. really suits my piano ballads too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And so how else does an Ed Sheeran tour different to the average tour? Um, the catering is amazing. Really? Yeah. Really, because I don't know if you, um, if you tried our catering, but I cut those carrots myself. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, That's no beautiful. expense spared. Yeah. So what, what, is, what is in the catering for an Ed Sheeran concert? Uh, like, my band and I, no joke, we, would, um, we have a, a messenger thing going on and we'd be like, catering in ten minutes, guys! And all these kind of excited emoticons every single day. And um, it would just be platters and platters of just whatever you could imagine. Like, one night there was kind of a... A, a weird fountainy thing of all different kinds of seafoods and like fondue and yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, so any kids good. out there? You work hard. Seafood fountain. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm curious, your your unborn child. Do you think that that child is as, as sick of hearing Ed Sheeran songs as the rest of us by now? <laughs> well, I just did my own tour actually, and I'm hoping that she'll come out as a really hardcore Missy Higgins fan. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's a fair chance because yeah. you've got a son as well, a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. You must rock a lullaby. Um, I'm actually like, you'd think that being a musician and having a child, you'd be really good at just making up good kid songs. But that, that's exactly why yeah, I asked this no, question. Yeah, no, it doesn't come naturally <laughs> at all. I, like, I can't. I, I, try, I get my ukulele and I'm like, and the banana and the, um, 
And we'll go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking of random things, but it's really hard to write a good kids song. I, I think you, you've had it in you for a while. I've actually got some footage here. This is incredible. Um, this is probably one of the earliest clips of you, earliest in your career, I would say. Have a look at this. <laughs> It is adorable as hell, but I really hate it when big stars pretend to play a guitar. It really, um, <laughs> it really yeah, disappoints me. Classic miming just then, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Shameful. So, do you, did you know at that age that this is what you wanted to do? No, not at all. I think, um, I think I was probably always a bit of a born performer, otherwise known as a show off. But then, <laughs> when I got to my teens, my brother, who's seven years older than me, he was a musician. And he, we used to go and watch him play all the time as a family, and, you know, at the back of Italian restaurants and little clubs in Melbourne. And that's when I realised that... Well, I wanted to do everything that he did, so that's when I realised that was what I wanted to do. And since then, I mean, you've been dominating um, music in this country, but it's, it's interesting. Um, according to a lot of studies, the music industry is described as one of the most unequal sectors in the country, uh, as far as gender goes, even more unequal than... Uh, engineering, science, politics. And mm. I, I couldn't believe this, but this is an interesting set. We've got a graph here. This is radio play of songs by men and women. And if you have a look, radio is dominated by songs sung by men. Why do you reckon that is? Um, it's really hard to know. I mean, I think, I think that the, the problem stems from um, the education of, of music um, in young girls and the, the encouragement of young girls from the onset to take up a career in music. I think historically it's kind of always been something, especially pop and rock and, and that kind of stuff, um, it's been encouraged for boys but not so much for girls. But there's a lot of really amazing programs that are popping up at the moment too. Uh, there's another interesting stat if you have a look at um, festivals around Australia, the gender balance of festival acts is... Um, these are all the different festivals. None of them have cracked a 50% representation of men with women. Mm. After the Oscars and, and Frances McDormand winning, there was a lot of talk about inclusion writers. Do you think mm. something like that would be good for festivals in Australia? Like, you will only agree to a festival if there is an even gender balance of performance? Yeah, totally. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's a difficult thing, like I say, because there are a lot more guy... Uh, musicians and singers than there are females at the moment. But I think if we actively find a way to, um, to showcase more female talent, then that will encourage um, the younger generations to, to think of it as an option for their career as well. Um, Missy Higgins, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, would you please thank Missy Higgins! Thank you. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. Thank you. That was great.